Hey guys, John Boston, Boston Style Racing. Uh, we're back again with some more throttle body action. Uh, a few weeks ago I ported my 2017 ZL1 throttle body and went over a few of the details with you guys. Uh, and uh, if you hadn't seen that video, you can see there was a line here there where there was a pretty good ridge. See, I removed most of that. And then there was another line here where there was another ridge. I removed some of that. Uh, you can see, because you can still see the line, obviously, that I hadn't removed all of it. And I explained at the time that uh, it gets pretty thin right about there. And I just wasn't willing to remove all the material to completely erase that line. But I did smooth it quite a bit. And I also warned to stay away from the areas where the throttle blade connects or, or it gets near to at idle because that's going to control your idle speed. And so I, I never mess with those. I've ported a lot of throttle bodies and uh, I've never messed with that area. Then I was on the Corvette forum, which uh, the Z06 Corvette uses the same LT4 motor as the ZL1. And uh, I saw another guy's work. And I was pretty impressed with his work. Uh, see, he's removed all all of this here. You can you can still see the lines, but just barely. He's blended it a little further in. But also, where I've got this big giant lip on this one here, he's he's still got a lip. You know, he didn't remove all of it, but he uh, he definitely opened up the area where the blade contacts there quite a bit, which. Uh, which I think would be a no-no in my experience. And you can see on the back side he didn't do anything uh, where all I did to mine was uh, reduce the shaft down. So you get a little more flow at full throttle when the blade's completely open. <clears throat> and uh, I read uh, several reviews of his stuff uh, where people say it did not change the throttle speed, which would have been my guess. And so uh, I just had to order one for myself. And I'm going to bolt this on in a few minutes and give it a try. Uh, he's, he's got a money back guarantee. He'll send you your money back if you're not happy with it. No questions asked. And uh, swears that it doesn't change the idle speed. All I can figure is that because you have more air going through at idle. On a carburetor, if you were to open that up, that would increase your idle speed. That's how you adjust idle on a carburetor. All I'm guessing is that the computer is controlling the idle speed regardless of how much air is going through. That's all I can figure out. So I'm going to go bolt this on and uh, give it a try. And if it works, then uh, I'd take some of this guy's hints. I would, uh, I would learn from this guy. You know, the point being, uh, don't be afraid to learn from someone else. You know, I've always wanted to know how to make stuff go faster. And uh, I finally learned, and a lot of it's self-taught. A lot of it's just picking up little tidbits like this uh, along the way. And don't be afraid to learn from the guys who really know what's going on. Because if you ask someone how to make something faster, the people that don't know a thing, they'll blabber on and tell you tons of shit that doesn't mean nothing. The people that really know their stuff and know what's going on, they won't tell you. It's a secret. You have to learn this stuff for yourself. So don't be afraid. Take any source you can. If that guy's getting good results, maybe you can uh, learn from some of that. I'm going to. So here, I'm going to go bolt this on and then we'll uh, take a quick drive and see what we think. Alright guys. Uh... We installed that throttle body, I uh, drove around uh, meh, three or four miles and uh, you can definitely feel a difference. Just like when I ported my own, I could feel a difference. Now I feel more difference even over that. So uh, what I've learned is uh, not to be afraid to uh, change that area where the blade is resting. Uh, don't be as afraid you know uh, you could tell he didn't remove the entire hump that was there but he smoothed it down for sure and there's definitely more air coming through at idle and uh, it seems to run just fine uh, the 
have to give it a little bit less gas to get it rolling. You know, it, uh, it's just a little more willing to go. And, uh, you know, every little bit helps. On motorcycles, you figure about a hundred bucks per horsepower. On cars, man, what a bargain. I only paid uh, less than 400 bucks for that thing. Uh, I don't even remember. It's 375, I think. Um, and yeah, well worth it. You know, in the future, I could take those lessons and I could uh, just do it for myself. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not going to send it back and then you know port mine to match and all that. That'd be kind of a crappy thing to do. I could do that, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and uh, well worth it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. I, I'm going to add a cold air intake. I am going to put uh, pulley, 15% overdrive pulley. I'm going to tune. I got a lot of stuff planned up for this. So uh, hit the subscribe button, follow along.